Hey there, book lovers! Welcome back to our channel where we unfold a diverse spectrum of rich stories and wisdom captured in the pages of numerous books. Today, we are exceptionally excited as we're turning the pages of a transformative self-improvement bestseller, Atomic Habits, by the incredibly talented James Clear. This book stands out in a sea of self-help literature. It is far from your average guide to habit formation, it goes beyond the boundaries of conventional wisdom and delves into the deep science and psychology behind our habits. This bestseller is not just a book, but a comprehensive roadmap that uses the science of small, incremental changes to guide you towards a path of self-improvement. The author delves into the intricacies of how habits work, the power of compound interest in behavior, and how the smallest of changes can lead to remarkable results. Clear articulates his thoughts with a clarity that's as rare as a diamond, making complex ideas simple to understand. His profound insights and practical strategies will make you reconsider how you approach your daily routines. This book is a game changer, a catalyst for unleashing greatness within you. It's about mastering the power of tiny, consistent changes that build up to create significant and lasting transformation. We'll be diving into the heart of this book, exploring its key concepts, and discussing how they can be applied to conquer your reading goals. Our discussion will be filled with interesting nuggets of wisdom that this book has to offer. So, are you ready to unlock the power of tiny changes for an improved reading life? Dive in with us. Clear's Atomic Habits is based on a simple habit loop, Q, Routine, Reward. This is the foundation of all our habits. It is the cycle that governs our daily activities, our small actions, and our significant behaviors. This includes habits that are related to reading, one of the most fulfilling activities that humans indulge in. The habit loop begins with a cue. A cue is a trigger, a signal that prompts your brain to initiate a behavior. So, what is it? It's a bit of information that predicts a reward. Simple terms. It could be something as ordinary as seeing your favorite book on your bedside table. This is the cue that triggers the routine. Reading. The routine, on the other hand, refers to the actual habit you perform in response to the cue. In this case, it could be a practice as wholesome as reading for a predetermined amount of time each day. As humans, our creatures of habit and routines form the backbone of our existence. Finally, we have the reward. This is the payoff your brain gets from this routine. It could be the immense sense of achievement you experience upon finishing a chapter, or the relaxation and escapism that reading provides transporting you into different and introducing you to diverse cultures and experiences. By comprehending this loop, you gain the ability to start observing what cues trigger your reading habits and which rewards are most satisfying for you. This self-awareness is the first step in making small yet powerful changes in your life. Understanding this loop doesn't just help you improve your reading habits, but also allows you tweak your life habits for the better. Clear's Atomic Habits helps us understand this loop so we can make these small yet powerfully effective changes. Clear outlines four fundamental laws with the goal of revolutionizing your reading habits. Far from just theories, these laws are practical strategies grounded in science. Let's delve into them. First we have, make reading obvious. This dictates setting visual reminders and cues to inspire reading. An effective tactic could be leaving your current book on your bedside table. It's the last thing you see before you hit the sack and the first thing you see when you rise. Another consideration could be incorporating reading time into your daily plan like any other task. Joining an online book club could be another great option as it builds a sense of accountability. These tactics serve to instill reading as an integral part of your daily routine. The second law, make reading attractive, guides you towards associating reading with something you inherently find enjoyable. A comfy chair, a soft blanket, and a cup of your favorite tea in a cozy reading corner could be a perfect setup. Alternatively, coupling reading with a relaxing activity, like a warm bath, could be considered. The idea is to read books that engross you, making each page turning a joy. When reading becomes an attractive endeavor, you naturally incline towards it. Moving on, we have the third law, make reading easy, which involves involves eradicating any hurdles that might hinder your reading process. This could imply downloading ebooks or audiobooks that are within your immediate reach on your mobile device. Subscribing to a local library could be another practical approach, ensuring a constant flow of books to dive into. The concept here is to simplify the reading initiation process, thus enhancing the likelihood of you reading. Lastly, make reading satisfying encourages rewarding yourself for your reading efforts. 
It could be as straightforward as maintaining a reading journal, jotting down your reflections, concepts, and memorable quotes from every book you assimilate. You could also pamper yourself with a fun recreation or a unique treat after each completed book. The aim is to make reading a gratifying experience, one that fills you with a sense of achievement and happiness. To sum up these four laws, make reading obvious, make reading attractive, make reading easy, and make reading satisfying. Offer a robust strategy to augment your reading routine. They're not quick fixes, rather, they advocate for minor, consistent changes that yield major results over time. Remember, the objective is not merely to read more, but to foster a profound love for reading that enriches your life and keeps pulling you back. So why not implement these laws? You might be taken aback by the significant improvement they can bring to your reading habits. The same laws can help you break bad reading habits too. We've all there. An unfinished book, a newsfeed more interesting than a novel, or a constant stream of notifications vying for our attention. These are habits that can be changed. Silence the distractions. Turn off your notifications, power down your gadgets, or isolate yourself in a peaceful corner where you're immune to interruptions. Make procrastination unattractive. Imagine what missing out on when you delay reading. The knowledge, the insights, the entertainment. Make it hard to give up on a book. Set achievable targets, break down lengthy books into smaller sections, and make leaving books unfinished unsatisfying. Keep a record of the books you've left midway and reflect on why they didn't hold your interest. Overcoming these habits is just as vital as developing good ones. Remember the laws are simple. Make the distraction invisible, make procrastination unattractive, make giving up difficult, make leaving unfinished unsatisfying. With these four laws, you'll not only build better reading habits but also break the bad ones. Building strong reading habits is a journey. It's a voyage that begins with a single step. A step that unfolds with the first word, the first sentence, the first chapter you choose to absorb from the world of books. It's not solely about racing towards a distant finish line, rushing through books, but about finding your own rhythm and pace, your unique style of reading. It's about immersing yourself in the narratives, experiencing the stories, and unraveling the mysteries that lie the inked pages. It's also about understanding that the path to strong reading habits isn't always smooth. Like any great expedition, the journey of reading is dotted with detours. There might be moments when you find a book that doesn't resonate or life throws roadblocks in your way, but these aren't setbacks, rather, they are experiences. They provide you with an opportunity to understand your preferences, build resilience, and learn to navigate through challenges. However, the key to this journey lies in consistency and patience. These aren't just virtuous qualities, they are your most loyal allies. They'll help you cultivate a reading habit that sticks, a habit that becomes an integral part of your daily life. They'll guide you through the valleys and the peaks, ensuring that you stay committed to the task at hand. Always remember that reading isn't just a habit, it's a celebration. It's about savoring each word, each sentence, each page. It's about acknowledging the beauty of language and the power of storytelling. It's about diving into different worlds, meeting new characters, and living different lives with every flip of the page. But most importantly, don't forget to relish each word, each sentence, each page. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the joy of reading. Now that you have the tools, which reading habit will you begin first? Feel free to voice your plans in the comments. Your perspectives might inspire a fellow reader. If you found value in this video and crave more book suggestions and reading advice, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more summaries about diverse topics. Hit the like button, share with yours friends and turn on notifications from our channel to stay in the loop. We're eager to learn about your progression as a reader. Happy reading until we meet again.